In this video, I'm going to cover everything Kajabi lead magnets. I'm going to show you how to set up your first lead magnet so you can capture your first leads inside of your platform. So hey there, Tim Peekman here. I am a Kajabi hero and I am a Kajabi fan. And the definition of a hero is anyone that's made at least $1,000 on the Kajabi platform. And this is why I've put together this program, Zero to Kajabi Hero, to walk and talk you through everything you need to know to actually get from where you are today to Kajabi Hero and beyond. Before we jump into any of the training, I want to first of all make you an offer. I want to offer you my extended 30-day trial of Kajabi. That's over double the 14-day trial that's available to the public. You can get access simply head on over to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi and create your account today. And as soon as you've done this, I will automate you a free course, Kajabi Unboxed. These are the things that you need to do immediately once you unbox your Kajabi account. And if you stick around at the end of that 30 days to become a paying member of Kajabi and know it and love it like I do, I will grant you another course. It's my sales page templates. You can just download these in a theme and then upload them into your Kajabi account. Yes, this is an affiliate link and all that means is part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. So that being said, let's dive straight on over into the training. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so here I am back inside my partner's account and we're going to walk and talk you through how to actually put a lead magnet together. Now, a lead magnet is just a series of systems in terms of landing pages, forms, automations to actually give someone a free thing in response to them giving you their email address. So we're back in the website here. We've actually done the, the main homepage. I'm just going to open this landing page out um, into the partners uh, link here so you, you can just actually see website landing. So we're going to be working on this landing page and then we're going to be working on this home page. So you can pop them out as many tabs as you want. You can just be working on the same account. I like to have a few. Click on the call to action button that you want people to actually work on uh, or click on and then you can either go to a URL and you can actually get this URL of this landing page. So you can actually click on the three little dots, get or copy this uh, as the landing page here. So you can actually put that in or even better, I, I don't like to do that. What I like to do is I like to click on landing page and then select from a series of your landing pages. Why I do this is, is just because if the URL changes at all, you're actually selecting the page so it will still work. You need to test all these systems and funnels so that it doesn't break over time. You just need to actually see, oh, have I changed something here? Okay, that's good. That's still good to go. Preview it and test it. So click the download guide now and that will take you over to the page. So now what we need to do is if somebody wants this guide, we need to edit this form to then actually deliver the guide. So you can go back in and then just go to under marketing. So click out of the design into marketing and then you want to go down to forms. Now this is the default form that you've probably got in your Kajabi account. Click into this and then I like to um, I like to use a single opt-in. And then sometimes I don't even want their name. If I'm giving uh, a free thing, I just use their name. And then again, every time just hit save. And then just go down and you need to add an automation. So if somebody fills out this form, then what, you, what do you want them to do? So that you can either grant them an offer, or revoke an offer, but what you want them to do is you wanna send them an email and then send them an email um, with a link to your free guide. So again, this co there's copy here for you, but all you need to do is attach or upload a file. Uh, I've got one, I've got my five step revenue system here that I'm just gonna upload just for uh, demonstration purposes. So that's the URL, it's saved to Amazon AWS and then download now. I tend to target a new window so it pops out in a new window and then that's it. So download now. I would probably have um, probably have it on its own row and I'll probably make it bold or something like that. Again, you can play around with this, save that, and then you can have a look at it. So edit the form, uh, you can have a look, see what it looks like in a browser. So if you pop that open, hey, download your form, like words to that effect, click on that link, and then it will actually show you, hey, this is your form. So the form has delivered the thing, okay? 
So that is the form doing its, uh, doing what it's supposed to do. Click save, or you can send yourself a test email and then test it out, see what it looks like. And again, edit this copy, make sure it's you know bespoke to you. Edit the title, but you're just making the form deliver the thing, making the form deliver the actual guide. I would always send a notification to yourself. So I would go, um, put your email in there, click return and then save that. So that's all good to go. So when people land, they've gone through to your homepage, they want the guide, they come to the squeeze page, they put in their name. So if I refresh that, it might look a little bit different because I've taken out the name. If you think about taking your lead from Google, Google is the most visited site in the world and it's only got one field because it wants the highest conversion. You want people's emails, just have one field. That's my personal opinion. So, and then test this, actually go through and test it. Type in your email, click download, and then see what page you come to next. Actually, this is gonna take you through to a default uh, landing page. So let's, let's do that. So let's go, let's test the funnel and then click download. So if this is just gonna give me a, um, a default thank you page, and then it's just gonna go back to previous. So that doesn't look too great. So what I would probably do is build out a second landing page and host it as your thank you page. So then you can actually direct people to here or even better yet, offer them something. Now we haven't got to that stage yet, but once we get to creating an offer and a product, you can actually say, hey, you've downloaded my free guide. Why don't you, you know, click on, um, click to learn more about this product or here's a one-time offer for you. It's a little bit discounted today because you've opted in. But what you should then go back to do is go and have a look at your website landing page and then go into pages, go into that landing page that we've just edited, click on landing, and then the direction of where you want them to go after that. So this form, click into the form, and then this is the thank you page here. So once you build out a bespoke thank you page, you can then put the URL in here or better yet, you can actually, once you've got that landing page, click on landing page. And then once you have got more than one landing page, because we've only built out one, click on the thank you landing page, whatever you want to call it, it's an internal title. And so you can see now how you can start to offer something for free, whether it's free training and audio, a downloadable PDF. My email now, I've actually received an email with, with the downloadable guide. So that has actually delivered to me, so I know it works but just think about positioning something on your homepage, sending them over to a landing page and actually explain a little bit more about that thing that they're gonna get and then test the system. So the form should actually deliver the thing and then you can actually position something on the next page. So that is how to actually put together uh, a lead magnet. So that's it. Hopefully you found value in this training and you got something out of it and you managed to implement something. If you haven't done already, claim your free account. That link once more, head to timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi and look for that free mini course that I'll be granting you. Check your spam if it's not there. And if you are progressing past that 30 days and you become a paying member like me, just reach out to me, Tim, at timpeatman.com and I'll grant you that second mini course which involves the sales page templates so you can just download them and upload them into your Kajabi account. And I look forward to seeing you on another video soon.